What's going on guys, it's Caleb, and um, we're just picking up right where we left off in the last video with our HTML and CSS. New to the channel, I pretty much just make Code Academy videos, and as you can see, we're doing HTML and CSS, but uh, I just want to show you guys, after my last video, I clicked on my profile, and dun 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 dun, I'm like 007, fuck with it. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> 007, yeah. Yeah, that made sense. I'm an idiot. Anyways, enough about me. Let's go ahead and get started on our social networking profile. Yeah, yeah. Which is only seven, and my phone's blowing up. So let's go ahead and reset. So here's what you're building. You start to see a pattern with these HTML projects. First, we'll show you what you'll be making, and then you'll actually walk through making it. In this course, you'll be creating your own social networking profile. Check out our profile for King Kong and index.html. So we check out King Kong over here. He looks like he's happy. He's knocking down planes, chilling on the roof. He's 89 years old. He's a giant. He's on the Empire State Building. Well, just realized that. That probably makes sense. Interests are bananas, climbing shit, HTML, jobs. He's a giant ape. He's also a web developer. Who knew? He went to Diddy Kong Junior High School, Donkey Kong Senior High School. <laughs> I guess he apparently graduated at Harvard for the BA and Yale University for a G day. Um, favorite quotes: If you first don't succeed, climb a giant building. <laughs> a banana in the hand is worth two on the tree. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but let's just hit save and submit. So let's reset and boom. You have the power. Have you ever seen a page on a social networking site load really slowly, then come through with only the HTML skeleton? If not, it looks like this, which, if you haven't seen it, I mean, I'm sure we've all seen it before, but that's what that looks like with Facebook loading up really stupid. So we, let's go back. And under its fancy skin, a social networking profile is just a list of text, images, and links. And you know all about those, because we learned them in the last lesson. We've set up a profile page with the basics, but the details are up to you. First off, let's make this page about you. So, put your name in between the title. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in my name right here. And you guys should do it too. So, my name is Caleb Hutchinson. Put a picture of yourself or anything you like between the body tags. If you can't think of a good picture, use this ninja. Well... I'm not going to use the ninja, but I'm going to open myself up in a new tab. No, oh, that didn't really work. Let me view my profile. Let me see if I can grab it off here. So I just right click, grab the image URL, and then it says it wants us to put a picture of us in the body. So let's go ahead and add our image, SRC. Paste in that. Man, that was really big. And then, yep, image is self-closing, so save and submit. Once we got our image in there, that's all we need. Sweet. Um, reset. Okay, there we go. There is my beautiful face. So a bit about you. Great. Now we know your name and what you look like. But <laughs> That's about it. Your profile page should include a little bit about you. After all, that's the point of a profile in the first place. Create a paragraph below your picture that mentions your age, gender, and hometown. Don't get too carried away. We'll get to your interests, favorite things, and where you lived, worked, or gone to school in the next section. So I guess we just have to create a paragraph underneath the image, which sounds easy, just add a paragraph tag, and just say, um, my name is Caleb, I'm awesome, okay? So I mean, they're really not going to check what your interests and your age and everything is, but I'm just going to go ahead and save and submit. Cause you guys don't need to know all that stuff. I won't want to bore you with all my personal information. So now, profile sections. Nice. It's starting to look like a profile page already. Because this definitely looks like your Facebook profile right here. I'm, I mean, well, it kind of looks like my Twitter profile in a way. But <laughs> anyways. Um, most profile pages are divided up into sections. Your interests, favorite quotes, where you work, where you went to school where you live, and so on. We can do this with an unordered list. Below the paragraph about yourself, create an unordered list. Each list item should be a category. For example, interests, jobs, favorite quotes, where I lived, and so on. Well, it seems like we're going to have to do 
we're going to nest a list in this eight later. So, I mean, oh well. So, pick any topics you like. You should be include at least four. All right, all right. So, let's just add an unordered list. So, add our UL. And hit space, then add an LI. And say, um, interest. And so, there we go. And, well, let's capitalize that, because that will look a little bit better. Add another list item. Let's just say jobs, because we should all be unemployed and draw unemployment money, because that's what everyone in this country does. Now let's add some quotes. Quotes are always good. So one, two, oh, I got to do favorite quotes, F-A-V-O-R-I-T-E. So add your favorite quotes. Last uh, list item, say where... I've lived and make sure to capitalize that just because they did it. But I don't, I don't think you have to use these. As long as you have four list um, items, which I have one, two, three. I have five. Damn, I made one too many. Oh well, we'll ignore it. Okay, so save and submit. Awesome way to go, guys. We are like flying right through this. So here's our, our awesome profile page. So list within list. Like what I say, that's what I thought we were going to do. Now that you've have your profile section set up, it's time to add in your favorite things. You can do this by creating additional lists within your unordered list li tags, like this. So pretty much, uh, we just have an unordered list, and then we have an ordered list nested inside an unordered list, like so. So, with the list item tag for interest, we can uh, we created an ordered list or ol tag with three interests or interests. Go nuts with your list within list. The only requirement is that you have to have at least one ordered list and one unordered list. So, I mean, you can make ordered and unordered lists for all of these, but I mean, I'm just gonna do it for the first one. And to make this um, like so, uh, so okay, so right here we're looking interest. We can say one. We can just say YouTube. Um, or actually, we can say make videos and then right here I'll just do another one just do an order this I mean it's super easy to type this stuff now this element I can say YouTube oh I see what I did here I, I typed favorite and then favorite quotes again I don't know why I did that earlier and then under favorite quotes uh, order list and then list item we can just say nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream which that is very true and oh, let's scroll down where I've lived. Uh, let's make an ordered list. Add another list element and say United States. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got interests, make videos, jobs, YouTube, favorite quotes. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream where I've lived. United States. I'm just going to delete my little smiley face because I think it looks better without that. Cool, we should be good here. Let's save and submit. Nope, make sure you have at least one unordered list inside your unordered list of profile sections. Um, okay, so I mean, let's just change this ordered list to an unordered list, and then change this one to an unordered list. And there we go, and then we look down here, we'll just see, this is no longer one, it's now a um, bullet point. Okay, I see it here. Okay, I just misread it. I was thinking it just needed one because we already had our ordered list up here. Or we had an unordered list and we had an ordered list. But I guess you actually have to have an ordered list and an unordered list, which is down here nested inside your unordered list up here, if that makes sense. Hopefully, I didn't just like confuse the fuck out of you. Okay, next lesson. Cool. Um, reset. What happened? Come on. Come on. Where'd my shit go? That's not cool. That's not cool. Come on, guys. Fancy. Oh, did I skip two of them? That's what I did. Okay, cool. So, save and submit. Go. Okay, so now we're on six. Okay. I guess I did it twice. Now I'm thinking about it. So, fancy up your font. Perfect. Your profile is really coming along. Oh, come on. God damn it. Oh, wait. There we go. 
Okay, there I am. Perfect, your profile's really coming along. It still looks a bit bland, though. Thankfully, you know how to fancify your fonts with the font family, font size, and color properties, which is exactly what you're about to do. Spice up your profile with different fonts, sizes, and colors. You can make or do any combination you like, so long as you use font family, font size, and color at least once. So, I mean, if you really want to make this... Um, you can make this in-depth or elaborate as you want. I'm just going to add a style up here in my paragraph. And I'm just going to change uh, font. Oh, font. Come on, me. Font family. And I'm just going to say Arial. So you see this change to Arial. Arial looks pretty good. You can make it all Arial if you wanted to. You don't have to. Um, then... I'm going to make YouTube down here, say style, and then font size, I'm going to set this to 30 pixels, and YouTube is going to be really huge, like so, and then let's just say, for our nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream, let's just change the style for that, and I'm, all I'm doing here is adding inline styles. And then let's just say the color of that. Really, we could do font dash color. I mean, I feel like that'd be the more proper way to do it, but we can just say color. Um, let's change it to red. And that way it'll stand out. So, I mean, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty damn good. I mean, especially if we just made it. I do want my image to be smaller and I want it to be round, but I mean, that's just more advanced stuff. Um, way to go, so start next lesson and reset this awesome code. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, bold, italic, bold. Great work. Just one more thing before you can call your profile complete. You've got to add just the right amount or just the right number of emphasized and strong words. How many you use is up to you, but you should use the emphasis tag and the strong tag at least once each. Once you do, hit save and submit code and exercise and bask in the glory of your newly created profile. So, I mean, I mean, should we make this thing look nice? I mean, I'm going to make this thing look nice right quick. So, I'm going to go to my image. Um, I'm going to add a style up here. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to change the width to uh, 100 pixels might be too big. And I'm going to change the height. I'll, I'll do 100 as well. So, if you do that... And then um, I'm going to add a border dash radius, and I'm going to set that to 100 pixels as well, like so. Width, H-E-I, okay. What happened here? Why did they give me two of those? There we go. Okay, so as you can see now, we have the, um, it's a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, it looks better, whatnot. So let's see what else we got here. Um, my name is Caleb and I'm awesome. That looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna actually make that bold. So let's just go right here and just type in the strong tag. And I'm just gonna cut this ending tag right here. Paste that in there. So now we have my name is Caleb, I'm awesome. And then let's emphasize the interest. If we can do this right, there we go. And I'm just going to cut this emphasis tag and put it on this other list item. So now we see that, I mean, really, you don't have to do the cool fancy stuff with the image. But I just did that right quick. Um, all you have to do is just make sure something's bold and something is emphasized. And then all the other stuff can look however you want it. But everything looks good, guys. So, I mean, this isn't, like, the coolest profile page, but... It is a profile page. I know we'll do more advanced profile pages later on, and if it's not in the Code Academy course, I will personally make a new video and show you how to make a pretty badass profile page. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, hit save and submit. Congratulations. We finished another course, and we're going to start HTML Basics 3 in the next video. So if you like this video and it helped you out, make sure to comment. Make sure to like it. It only takes a second to like. And don't forget to subscribe for more and future stuff. Stay tuned, we've got a lot of good content coming. Alright guys, have a good night.